Mobile devices like the iPad have become really powerful, making them a good choice for those wanting to code on the go. However, most iPad IDEs come short of providing a developer experience that's good enough for daily use. This is why we are so excited about the Code Sandbox iOS app, a full-featured native IDE for iPad and iPhone that was built to provide an optimal coding experience. Sandboxes make it very easy to quickly prototype an idea, and you can import your GitHub repositories to work on branches and review code just like you would on a laptop. Simply download the free app from the App Store, install it, and you're ready to start coding. In this example, I'm working on the repository for a landing page built with Astro. On the left side, I have my file navigation, search, and Git controls. I can easily open the command palette with Command K and type Preview to open a preview of my code that is running on a Code Sandbox Micro VM. Looking at the preview, it seems that my website is missing the hero component. Let's fix that. By typing branch on the palette, I can create a new branch to fix the issue. Code Sandbox will run my branch on a brand new instance that is created in seconds. Let's use the command palette again to open the preview for the current branch. And now, let's search for the right file to fix the bug. I can see the code for the landing page, and it looks like the hero component just wasn't added. As I start typing, the built-in IntelliSense automatically displays autocomplete suggestions with matching components. Let's take that suggestion, save the code, and look at the preview. Great! I see that the hero component is now showing up as expected. But there seems to be a problem with the copy. Let's investigate. I can see the source code for the hero component here, but I'll need some help to fix this, so let's share a link to my branch with Philippe from the marketing team. Because everything is running on Code Sandbox micro VMs, Philippe can immediately see my code and the preview. If I tap on Philippe's avatar, I can follow him around the code and see how the issue is fixed. Great! Now we have the copy displaying correctly. Thank you, Philippe! I'm happy with these changes. If needed, I could run my linter or tests by clicking on the plus button at the bottom of my screen. This reveals the Code Sandbox dev tools where you have access to the terminals, all existing previews, and a series of tasks that can be configured for any given environment. Okay, it's done. Which means that now I'm ready to open a pull request. I just need to reveal the panel from the left side of my screen to bring up the sidebar and go to the Git tab. This is where I can write my commit message, create a commit, and then tap to open a PR. This brings me directly to GitHub with everything pre-filled for me. So I only need one final tap to open the PR, and we're done. With this seamless experience, we want to empower everyone to code on the go without feeling constrained by their device. This is core to our mission of making coding accessible to everyone helping developers to code, review, and ship faster with Code Sandbox.